Hello everybody, my name is Ace Face, and we're going to be testing out the Cerberus in T4 Darks again. I need to do multiple tests because we need to expand the variations of waves we've come across. But here, I've had, I've been using this Cerberus, and to me it feels like an absolute beast of a ship. This is then the Cerberus we're using heavy assault missiles, one web, multi-spectrum, power diagnostic system for extra power and shield HP, and then we've got two application modules here you know something that i've actually been thinking about that we could possibly change here is if we remove this power diagnostic system the issue with this is that we get less power you can see that you get 8.2 gigajoules a second otherwise i was thinking is you could remove this flare catalyst you can put an ancillary current router here medium ancillary current router but it's a bit of a waste of the of the power grid because i mean we don't need so much power grid i mean we would make do with just uh, take one one uh so that is a bit of a necessary change there but what one could do is put a missile missile guidance enhancer and this could then further amplify our application even more uh, and it would give us a little bit better range to be honest it's maybe a little bit of a wasted stat because this module gives application but also range we just really want application we don't really care about range so I think that probably what we've got right now is probably a better solution because this not only gives us capacitor, this one only gives us uh, the uh, extra uh, application and not anything else that is like sort of a wasted module. And the thing I don't just dislike about this flare is that this uses so little calibration. So it, we can use so much more. And sometimes I think that it could be better just to use two regors here just because of how it uses more uh, calibration, but there's got the stacking penalties. Otherwise, generally speaking, I've been hearing a lot that the regals are better than flares, but I think if you use them, two of them, then the stacking penalties will sort of negate its benefits. I'm sure it depends on the uh, NPC to NPC because different NPCs can be different signature radiuses and then they can also have different, uh, they can have different uh, speeds as well. Okay, so we've got to move Island because that is the closest system we can go to, which can actually run these T4s. It's unfortunately also probably going to be infested with gankers, so we'll have to hope for the best here. We are even carrying our absolutely amazing dank loot that we got from the previous run. 87 million isk. A lot to do with luck. A lot to do with luck, guys. Just remember that. Uh, so this is like stuff that you can get, and I get this very often. It's not like uncommon that I get this, but... Uh, it also can happen that you do many runs where you do not get this kind of look here from one run. This is one run. Uh, the reason that this was so good was because uh, of these two drops here, 73 million. It's the Cataclysmic Electrical, which is the best filament drop you can ever get because it's the most expensive filament in the game. Uh, and then also the Chaotic Exotic here, which is also a pretty expensive filament. If it wasn't for those filaments, you can see here that we would get a lot less, only 30 million. Isk. So that's more on the level of what kind of bad t4 this could be but that those filament drops really made up for it and that's what i've been saying many times the filament drops are what make the big difference when you're doing the abyss i mean you can get up and down with your zero point condensate and uh, true glove server data but i mean if you get some good filament drops oh man you're gonna have a good day now let's just take a quick check in local not got any red people apart from that one guy there and we actually saw him last time we did a T4 Dark, so we're going to risk it for the biscuit. Let's go in. Uh, have we got the Kaldari Navy? I want the Kaldari Navy. Kaldari Navy is always nice to start out with. I find it to be good in that way. Yeah, you see, like we got the Rogue Drone Frigate straight away. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do a different strategy because before we went in and started attacking them, now we're going to go for the Devil Automata Suppressor because this is going to just completely shatter these Rogue Drone Frigates since it does a lot of damage in general. But this is a short range one that does even more than a regular Devil Automata Suppressor that is a medium range one. The only thing is that we need to be a little bit close to this one because this is a short range one. I think it's got like 15 kilometer range versus I think the 45 kilometer range of the other one. Okay, let's go for this snare caster here. Great, now we've taken out all these snare casters, so no more webs. Come on now, almost. Okay, great, now we can get a little bit closer. Now this thing will start taking effect. Great, the demon automatic suppressor is activated. It just needs to be a little bit closer because 
of uh, its short range. Oh, we forgot to restock our drones, but it's not the biggest difference just because uh, drones hardly do any damage at all compared to our missiles. Great, now for these guys here. Look, these uh, rogue drones are getting destroyed now. I'm not even having to shoot them, they just automatically just get destroyed without me having to do anything. It's perfect. Just web them a little bit, there we go. And then web this guy a little bit. And now I can get the transfer condo with the bioadaptive cache as well. Great. Easy. Easy. Popped. There we go. And how quickly did we do this? In two minutes. Two and a half minutes by the time we get to the next uh, portal or the gate. And we have got Kaldara Navy. Okay, great. Open this up. Oh, look at that. Great tank loot straight away. Amazing. Look at this kind of risk we've got. We're like paying back almost a fourth of the ship now. Uh, this is really great. I like this. This is what I love about the Abyss. Those good loot runs make such a big difference in the experience here. Uh, you can get these quite often, but you can also get these not so often, quite uncommon. It really depends a little bit on the RNG. Sometimes you can get many runs in a row that are good. Sometimes they can be really bad, but overall you could say that T4 is quite powerful in terms of the isk making capabilities you get. A lot better than T3 and below. So this is where you will start to gain the big, big increase in loot, I find. And it has, again, a lot to do with the filaments. You suddenly have a lot bigger probability of getting T5 and T6 filaments and T4s, and that coincides with the ISK being a lot better as well, just because of those filaments being a lot more valuable. So again, we see another Diva Automata Suppressor. Fortunately, this is then going to cut the wave short and not got any interesting Cinnabar waves. You want to find more of those guys. If these rogue drone waves are boring. And it's not like we can go on the test server anymore because the test server has been shut down for general use. There, you know, what could be cool is you could do is you can go and move your ship out of the abyss with the commands. Then you can just launch a new filament and then you can search for the type of wave you want to find. It was a pretty sweet little command you could have there, but no, unfortunately, you can't have that anymore. Wreck these guys these spotlighters oh look at that rogue drone he's hardly taking any damage at all he's been smart and keeping his range from the the automatic suppressor uh, okay let's go to the bioadaptive cache now we don't really even need to shoot at all they're just going to be taken care of by the road the automatic suppressor let's lock that true glowing bioadaptive cache up see what it gives us if we can shoot one missile yeah 41 kilometers that's decent decent range no bonuses at all here, apart from the hull bonuses. Because I think the Cerberus has got a hull bonus to the range, max velocity, as that indirectly affects its range as well. There's one volley here. Goodbye, Rogue Drone. Great. And this one was then finished also very quickly. So it's gone five minutes now. We've completed both the two first rooms. Open this up. And not so much. You see, sometimes you get bad loot as well in the abyss. Depends a lot on your luck here. And now uh, we can reload to the full clip of Kaldari Navy. Meanwhile, we get en route to the transfer conduit. So, five and a half minutes, second route completed. What have we got here? Leshax, okay. This is... Uh, not a particularly challenging wave, but it can be annoying having a lot of these uh, renewers because they... Okay, we should stop using our shields because of this filament cloud making it consume so much uh, HP. But this can be annoying because these guys will rep remote repair to massive degrees. But I think it will be alright just because of us having a good range of that missile, so we'll be able to take them out very fast. Uh, if we can lock up that bite out of catch, it would be nice. There's one quick volley here. Can web that guy as well. That renewer that is. Open this up. Great. Now we open up this bioactive cache. See what we've got here. 
what have we got here? oh no i thought it was a really good really cataclysmic film but it was the firestorm filament the worst kind of uh, cataclysmic but still i mean we've got another t6 filament they're quite uncommon actually i find in the t4s to get t6 filaments here so really great to see i mean it's still nine million so it's something not at all bad for a single canister in the t4 but i mean this was ultra fast <laughs> ultra fast t4 that the fastest waves you can encounter to be honest two rogue drones in a leshak room that is super fast how quick have we done this entire this entire site so probably like seven minutes something like that unallocated skill points great so we got that t4 firestorm not firestorm dark done in seven and a half under seven and a half minutes really cool really cool Cerberus kicking the T4 Dark's butt but we need to find those more difficult waves so we're definitely uh, we need to explore the abyss a little bit more but it feels pretty smooth to use can't really say much here however I'm glad that we were able to acquire a decent amount of risk in a pretty short amount of time I'm happy about that so until next time guys unfortunate that we weren't able to find the strong waves but sooner or later we will and let's hope that we're prepared if you did enjoy the video or learned something new, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.